Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I'm out with Ant. He's just put a, a new rear shock on his FZ1N um, off a, two, I think it was 2015 uh, R1. And um, he's just taken it out just to see what it's what it's like. So we'll hit a few roundabouts and see. He said he said it, it feels a lot more comfortable. So yeah. And today I'm trying a new angle with my camera, my little GoPro session down on my uh, spool on my rear wheel. Hopefully it's quite good. So you should be able to see Ant behind you or behind me. But a beautiful day nonetheless. Um, I did do a, a dual vlog with John the other day and we were out for a good two hours filming and that and it was great. I get back, put it all in the computer to get editing and there was no sound on his GoPro. And it was oh bollocks. So we're gonna try it again either tomorrow or Monday. And then we've got the test ride of the Triumph Tiger 900 GT on Tuesday so that should be up hopefully by Friday normally I've got my um, quad lock mount on my handlebars so I can so I can put my phone there and I can see the live view of that camera but I, no I've, I've took my quad lock off and um, I forgot to put it back on so I'll have to do that later but it's nice to be able to wear my summer jacket and just said he, he's still left his liner in his jacket so he's a bit warm <laughs> well I was, I was looking at the the new GoPro 8 because it's got like hyper smooth stabilization on it and everything and I was like well that's good but the the lens cover on these you can change right if it gets broke you just untwist it and put a new one on for about for about 29 quid right so yeah all right but the GoPro 8 you can't do that it's a fixed unit and um, they don't even do a like repair service for them no you can't you, they're, they're a sealed unit but like I say you can't even replace the lens on the new one and um, you, you're talking 400 quid for a camera but if you break it you just got to buy another one and it's like no fuck that And it's nice to have a back brake that works. Yeah, well, I put EBC pads in. And um, it then half changed it. But with these roundabouts, it just gives you an uh, an opportunity just to get your get your eye in. Yeah. It's just nice to be able to get out because at the end of the day, it's, it's all I know. It's all important with the COVID and the Black Lives Matter and all that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying none of it matters. I'm just. I'm just saying that it's nice to be able to get out and forget it all. The dog in front is going absolutely apeshit. <laughs> I weren't overly keen on my uh, my examiner. My instructor, Dave, salt of the earth, mate, lovely bloke. But my instruct uh, my examiner, bit of an arsehole to be honest. Your bike sounds awesome. Yeah. It's that Rima system, mate. No, that sounds just spot on. See, I'm, I'm looking for a shorter one. Uh, I've, I've been looking at the SC project, but they're so expensive. Considering they're just a tiny can, do you know what I mean? Well, just a bit of pipe. This will be a test for that GoPro on the back. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> and it'll be a test for your shock as well. <laughs> Fucking hate this bend, but I do like this bit of road. <laughs> I 
The only thing that fucking worries me about coming down this road is the amount of times I've seen deer run out. And John's is the same. John's bur the burble on his downshifts fucking awesome. And it's not a, a not that I know of. It's not like a named can, but it just sounds awesome. Look at the shit down here. Look, fucking awful. I'll tell you what else has made a big difference. Moving my levers, just so they're, they're in the right place. I'm not actually physically reaching for them. Yeah, they're shorts, yeah, they, um, because I, I get a, a, an advisory on them every year. So yeah, my, my levers are just cheap, cheapish eBay ones. I'm getting fed up with sitting behind this pickup. You're all right, mate. This fucker will come in. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I heard you rev the shit out of it through my ears. <laughs> like through your intercom. Like that. Through my ears. Like I'm, like I'm going to hear it through my nose. Yeah, it gives you peace of mind, doesn't it? Because you're going to... You, you'd just be whittling over it. Yeah. Yeah, um, Ansh just said he changed the stator in it because apparently the the um, early models, the, the magnets in it were just bonded to the inside of it and they had a tendency of failing. So, yeah, the glue, yeah, and it can result in a total engine rebuild. So um, he's put a, an updated version of a, the stator in. Or rotor, should I say. Well, when you think, right, the, the price of fuel, right, hit rock bottom to the point where they had to pay people to store it for them. Right? No. And um, it was still a pound a litre. So that just tells you what the government take. I would suggest to anybody that's bought a new bike, regardless of whatever they've got planned for it there's, there's my dad <laughs> just turning left in that uh, Land Rover yeah regardless of what they're thinking about like new exhaust or whatever get your suspension tuned yeah 100% that that would be the biggest thing or the best thing you could do get it get your suspension tuned properly to you um, and how you like to ride and what you like the feel of and it's like having a brand new bike i can't i can't stress it enough regardless whether you're on track or on road don't worry about a power commander for more power or anything like that get your suspension done you'll feel more confident and you will be quicker all right we'll go for a coffee and i'll see you in a bit 